Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing Overlord Season 3, Episode 3. Um, just a quick little intro here, just saying subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed for some weird reason, subscribe to the channel after Overlord. Um, I'm looking right now, we might be doing slime. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's right now in my head, it's between slime and Konosuba. So I'm kind of deciding between those two at the moment. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell, smash that like button if you like these videos. Um, and I definitely appreciate it, seriously. I love doing this type of stuff. You can also check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123 if you want to see uncut reactions, early releases. We do a bunch of stuff over there. We also have Patreon requests like Goblin Slayer, Fairy Tale. There's a bunch of uh, single episodes over there of those type of shows if you want to see stuff that is not here on YouTube. Um, and let's go ahead and start. Oh, yeah, it's the other... It's the other thing that um, Heinz was building and all them. What the hell? <laughs> that sounds like I am very, very crazy. Sounds perfect for Albedo. What the hell? <laughs> it's different to see somebody new, I'm sure, for them. Yeah, as an adventurer, you would think, you know, any type of enemy, they would look like enemies to you. Somebody you have to attack. Yeah, I thought if you take if you take them out of the forest, shit would happen there, you know, because they were controlling it. So the weaker enemies are getting used. There you go. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, he's producing a lot of things for, uh, for Ainz and all them. Huh? <laughs> The way his head is, it looks like he has a mouth turned backwards for a forehead. Oh, there you go. Of course, there would be some around. Huh. They're They're being extremely Like submissive to her But if you can tame You know if you can have goblins with you and stuff It would make sense That's what I thought was odd Like being able to get ogres to work under you the more creatures that are there it puts me on edge I doubt he would have to because he makes potions you know for Ainz and everybody I don't think he's a frontline person so she would be by herself in the city? Eins, Eins, you're just like Eins in that case? <laughs> that is a little scary though, I'm sure for her. That's the gall, yeah. 
Of course, yeah, because it's the item Ainz gave her. This is why you don't go by yourself. She's so innocent. Yeah, now these items that he's circulating through their economy is worth a shit ton. Does she look like a bad girl, though? Come on. Oh, good timing. Nice. <laughs> he heard it. An excuse. You need an excuse. What did he say? I wonder what he told him. Well, that was good timing. It's good that he was there. Fly. You're a fly. I mean, all these people that do work under Ainz in there, they're all ridiculous tens. Like, they're all tens. Though, if you think about it, it, you know, these were all created by the players, right? Or the people in his guild. If I was creating NPCs and an MMO and man, if I, if you, if there was an MMO like that, that you could do that to that extent and give them their own personalities and shit and not something like the Sims, I'm talking about like anime based and stuff. Oh my God, I'd be in fucking heaven, but yeah, I would make them beautiful as all hell for sure. I, I, I yeah, that makes sense. I mean, none of them would be fives. They would all be tens and, uh, you know, and beyond. She's got a laundry list of things to do. Or maybe just to know where she's at so he could bail her out or something if he needs to. Yeah, the higher the rank that's needed, the more money it's going to be, of course. It's a waste of their time. What the hell is happening? Okay, Ainz has something to do with this. Uh, they threatened her or something. Yep. I wonder if Ainz put her to sleep or something there? Did somebody put her to sleep? Because that was kind of convenient. She was falling asleep. Yeah, it would have been bullshit to lose all these goblins. You want to lose all your goblin friends? They're so loyal. Oh, she got some legitimate weapons. Well, that's an upgrade for all of them. Give your goblins a level up. Attack up. She's so sweet. <laughs> well, it's because her having the goblins, uh, so much stuff that she's done for the village, it kind of makes sense. That's true. Hey, we don't know who they're, she's talking about. Huh. It's so weird. <laughs> And that kind of gave her strength. By giving her that item, it gave her, like, respect and strength. If it's hers, then they... Okay. It makes sense for her to be the leader then. Yeah. I wonder what the loyalty thing is on there. 
if somebody else had used that item, would they be just as loyal to them? Because she is pretty sweet to them. Mm. Well, there you go. It's a good decision. I think it's a good decision. I mean, they are, they set it up, but... But what's the reasoning that she wants that? Oh, it'll change things. Oh, God. Of course she could do that, though. Everyone's personalities are so different in their group. So, so she is like, we know that there's levels. I, I know you guys have explained a little bit in the comments about that there that everyone like in the group in nines group all the maids everybody they all have different um what the heck is it called you know good bad uh neutral everybody has different ones and i can imagine why that would be is because everybody uh different people made different npcs so they had the uh you would assume they had the choice of ma of making them neutral good bad so some of them probably went neutral. We've seen uh, the extreme of that with like um, of Sebus. He he's probably the best one I've I've seen. Uh, he seems to be pure good or good in the sense more good than most of the the people we've seen in there. Um, her she has to be in the probably at the very edge of bad because um, uh, yeah she has to be very close because she's wanting bad things to happen but also you're shaking up the village and it's kind of something that Ainz was saying too about uh she said new possibilities new things that could happen you want to see different scenarios going into place and how things work and that's what the same thing he was talking about like with the lizard men and stuff uh so I would see that would be a good thing for her to be the leader because that would change what was happening before new leadership meaning new possibilities um, and Ayn's kind of in, I love that he's in the background there kind of helping out, making sure he, he's setting up for her to be the leader. Um, uh, obviously, I mean, you know, she has the, the item, she has the respect from people. Um, but what can go from that though? What can go from there? Um, I would hate to see because she's so sweet and just everything that's kind of happening in that village. I would hate to see it. Uh, I hope they don't burn down the village. I know possible anything can happen. Ainz is really, all of them are really experimenting. Um, with you know, experimenting with what can happen and and all the people around them. They see them more as uh just learning about the world. They're they're not. I I know they're not actually worried about. <laughs> they're not worried about their lives or anything like that. They're just guinea pigs, really. Um. So I'm just, I'm curious to see the having like those ogres though. And, and the more creatures and the more things that, that go into that village, it makes me a little worried because how loyal are they going to be? We know the, um, and that comes to like the, the goblins. If somebody else used that horn, you would think an item, it would be the same. <sighs> Let me see. I would think it would be the same. If you use an item and you summon something, the loyal, and I guess it mattered the game or it matters, it matters what the rules are on that. But you would assume it would be the same for everybody. It says, oh, you use this item, you summon uh, goblins to your side or whatever. Like, you, you know, you, su you summon a familiar or you summon something. Uh, if it's a regular game, you would think it's loyalty, but this isn't, uh, you know, and, but the item comes, uh, Einz had it, so it came from the game. So you would think they would be loyal to anybody. Um, but how nice she is to them, you want to, at least me, like the, if you're trying to think of this the sweetest way, you want to hope, oh yeah, her naming them and being as nice to them as possible would, uh, you know, would make them loyal, right? Um, but if she lost the horn or sold the horn, would the goblins just disappear? Or would they uh, suddenly just not be loyal to her anymore? I wonder how that would work too. That's a, kind of an interesting thing to think about. Uh, but anyway, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell, um, patreon.com slash AJRich123. If you want to watch uncut reactions, early releases of uh, this uh, this show or all my other shows, 
um twitter twitch all that good stuff is down in the description thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye